please let me do the demo signed in. So this is ID.art and I'm gonna first show you um, in our gallery, I'm gonna show you one of the artists. I mentioned her earlier, Medina Casamova, because she has quite a nice profile here. And then afterwards, I'll show you what it looks behind the scenes on my account so you can see uh, what the dashboard looks like. So this is what someone's coming in. So this is in the gallery of all the different artists using it. I'm gonna go to um, Medina's profile. So as you can see, you can have a profile for yourself. You can put as many artworks as you like into the platform. So you can see she has quite a few items. Um, each uh, page has a dedicated QR code that's generated automatically. So you can share this QR code, which will link to her profile page. And as you'll see, each individual work of art gets its own dedicated um, QR code as well. And that's all generated automatically. You don't have to do a thing. You can have your about section, which is created as a V card that you can share. So all of your artist statement and your information is here. And this can be downloaded or shared. If I click the share button, um, sorry, let me go back to that. If I click the share button, you'll see it opens up a way for me to share that from my device. Um, that QR code, again, will point to all this information. So all of that is created dynamically. And then for each of your works of art, there's quite a bit of information. As you can see, you can decide if something is available for sale or not. It notes if there's an NFT available. Visitors can like a particular image. Uh, and I'm going to go to one image that I kind of like, Igor. Let me scroll down to uh, Igor here because he's got some really good information. So if I go to Igor, let's go to this particular image now. So you'll see that this image has its own dedicated web page. So every item you put up has a web address at id.art. And that way it's a third level domain, which means you don't have to pay any annual renewal fees. If you register your name.art, every year you have to pay a renewal fee. When it's your name.id.art, that's completely free. You don't have to pay for renewal. So each work of art has that um, dedicated web page. So this is the web page for this particular work of art. And I'll just scroll down for a minute. As you can see, you can share the story about this particular work of art. All of the providence information following the object ID standard is down here as well. So you can see the title, when it was made, what the materials are, what the size is, oil on canvas, all of that information is here with the um, image itself. Plus what's really interesting in most platforms where you share an image, that's all you can share. Here, because it's a dedicated web page for that item, you can share all sorts of additional information. So if I click, if I click on the item, sorry, let me go big here. Oops, sorry, click the wrong button, here we go. Uh, I have to make it bigger. If I go here, you can see that I can share not only the item itself, but I can show the story behind it. So I can share images, uh, the sketches that I did before I created the painting. Uh, here's a picture of the back of the canvas so you know that it's real. You can even share video of the art being created. So here, I'll go back to that video again. Um, you can have actually video of you creating the item or if you wanted to do kind of a real. So you could see video of the item being created or any other content you want to share. You could share files, you could share videos. Um, and that's really interesting because there's no better way to tell the story behind a work of art. And the value of art comes a lot from the story. Um, so it's really powerful to be able to have that. And then for each image here, you can have um, information here. If I want the certificate of authenticity, I can download the certificate of authenticity for that item. Uh, and you'll see, you can open it up here and you'll see, here's the certificate of authenticity and I'll show you how these can be customized when I go into my account. So this is created automatically for each image that you upload. It has all of the provenance information here, just like I showed you before, the story behind the artwork. Here's gonna be a link to the webpage. So that's that address I showed you at id.art. And here's a QR code that will link right to the page for that item. So this is a really beautiful certificate of authenticity that gets created uh, 
for each item automatically, and you can actually customize it. You can see that if there are NFTs available for this work, if I click on NFTs, I can go to OpenSea or Rarible. I'll click that link, and it'll take me right to that item on Rarible, in this case, which is a popular uh, platform and marketplace for NFTs. And what's interesting is without you having to do anything, all of the information that you put in at ID.art is shared here automatically. So here's the description you saw, um, all of the properties of the item, the object ID information, all of that is transferred automatically over to Rarible. So it's very powerful in that way, um, as you can see. So that's all done for you automatically. Then if you want to have a price, you could have a price listed. If you want a price on request, there's also a contact form that's built in. So if I'm interested in this, I can send a message and that will go right to the account holder and it's specific to this image. So I know that this person uh, was interested in that work of art. They might ask a question, how much is it, whatever. But now I can have a line of communication. So all of these things are created um, automatically for you um, at ID.art, as you can see, it's quite powerful. Um, so now I'm going to go back to my account and show you what it's like behind the scenes. That was what it's like for someone visiting and looking at her account. Now I'm going to log in and show you behind the scenes what the dashboard looks like. Now, I'm not much of an artist myself, but I have a 10-year-old grandson who I think is talented. So I'm using ID.art for his artwork. So these are some examples of my grandson's artwork. So this is my dashboard behind the scenes. So of course I can put all the about information here. Um, and it's very easy to create a new twin. If you wanna create and upload, you'll just um, decide what you want to do and you can upload anything from your computer um, here. And then you add all the information uh, relative to it. And then that's stored as we talked about. So all that's very straightforward to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go back to my control panel. So that's easy to add a new collection. I'll just go through some of the features here really quick. Um, so if I want to um, create a collection, this is a very powerful feature. So let's say you have 20 or 30 or 40 or more works of art, um, but you wanna submit just a handful of them to a fair or to a gallery. Instead of having to go on your hard drive and figure out where it is, you can simply create a new collection. So I'm gonna create a collection from my twins. Uh, and then you select the works of art you're interested in. So I want to send these, these three to a gallery. Click next, I can name it. I'll name the gallery. I could type and spell. Uh, I could add a description if I wanted to. I'm not going to bother now. And then create, and it'll create a collection. And then I can preview that collection. And then of course I can now share this collection uh, with a QR code and a link to that gallery, and they'll get to this page which just has they'll get to a page that just has that collection on it. So it's a very powerful tool um, to share just a limited number of your works when you have a lot of works um, added to your account. Back to my control panel. So I think uh, collections is really powerful. Uh, I mentioned NFTs, so you can actually create an NFT right from within the platform. I'll show you very quickly how easy that is to do. So these are some artworks. So if I want to mint an NFT, uh, I'm going to mint it for twins. So I have to choose which one. So if I want to make an NFT of this colorful, sorry, this colorful monkey, click next. Uh, I have to connect my wallet. I should have done that in advance. But actually, this is, uh, well, let me connect my wallet. So I want to do it manually because I want to show you something interesting here. Remember I said that you can use your .art domain to connect to your wallet. So I've done that. So my name, so instead of having to use that QR code and connect my MetaMask wallet in a complicated fashion, I'm gonna just type jeffsass.art, which I have connected to my MetaMask wallet and then next, and now I'm connected. That's simply my wallet is now connected. So that NFT, when I create it, it'll go into my wallet. So I can create a new NFT collection or use an existing one. I'll just use an existing one for now. Click next. And there's the colorful monkey. I can decide how many NFTs I wanna make. So I'm gonna make two of them. Uh, next, so I'm gonna create two NFTs. Uh, and then you get to choose which network, uh, which blockchain. Oh, 
you can use. So right now it's Ethereum, and this is what it's going to cost me. It's going to cost three dollars and sixty-four cents in Ethereum. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and this shows me the amount. Now what's interesting is you can pay with a credit card. So it's connected to my wallet, but I have payment options. And I can go ahead and actually use a stored credit card. So you don't have to have crypto to do it. So I'll use one of my stored credit cards and I'll proceed to checkout. And you'll see it's going to cost me $3.64. So I'm going to go ahead and mint those NFTs. And that's that. So there, my NFTs are being minted. And then they'll show up in my account. And then at the same time as they show up in my account as NFTs, they'll also show up um, on Rarible and OpenSea, as I showed you before. So that happens right away. Uh, let me show you how the certificates of authenticity work as well. So if I click on the COA. So if you have a, a pro account, you can customize your certificate of authenticity. So here's the preview of what it will look like, but you can go ahead and change the orientation if I wanted to do it landscape instead of portrait. I can change the paper size. I can change the background colors. I can upload a logo if I want. I can put some text next to the logo, et cetera. I can upload my signature. So there's all these things I can do to customize that certificate of authenticity. And then you can also decide if that certificate is available for anyone who comes to your page, or if you want to only make it available on request. So that way, if you're actually selling your artwork and you only want to give that certificate of authenticity to the person who bought your artwork, you're able to control that from your dashboard as well. So that's how the certificates of authenticity work. Um, also, I mentioned domains. So you can have your .art domain pointing to your profile page. So Medina does that. If you go to medina.art, it goes to her id.art profile page. And you can actually do that from within id.art. So if you click on domains, you can actually register a new domain right here. Or if you already have a .art domain, you can connect your existing domain um, right to your page and id.art. So this is very easy to do right from within the account. And then status is where you can see where each work of art, what you've done for it. So here's where I can control. If I want to set the price, I can set the price, in different currencies. Um, I can decide to show the price or have it listed as price on request. I can turn for sale on or off. So now it's not for sale, now it's for sale. So all of this stuff can be managed right here um, from your dashboard. So it's very easy to do. And again, you can connect all of your social accounts. Um, so you can uh, connect the domain, as I mentioned, create a new collection, mint NFT, IP rights protection. So you can actually have your provenance information backed up on the blockchain. So this is a service, there's a fee attached to this service, but you would just select um, which items you want to have the IP protection for. And then you go forward and you get the summary um, and you can do it. It's right now it's $50 for 10 years to protect your IP for 10 years. So you can see that. Um, so that's very easy to do as well. Um, and you can connect all of your social accounts and not only connect your social accounts for your main profile, I'll go back to Medina, but you can connect social accounts for specific images. So if I go back to Medina's profile, my 10 year old grandson has no social accounts. So that's why I didn't <laughs> connect any, he's too young for that. But you can see here, Medina has it connected to her Instagram account um, right here. And this is connection to her general Instagram account from her profile, but she can also connect it from a particular image. So if I go back to, uh, Igor, let me go back to Igor, let me go back here. That's OPC Igor, let me go back to, sorry. Let me go back to Igor here. And you can see on this particular painting, you can actually connect to a social media account for this particular work of art. So here, if I go to social media, I'm actually going to Instagram posts for that particular item. So it's a great way to connect to other content you have for each particular work of art. So that's that video I showed you before, but here it is on Instagram. So really when you think about many artists are using a product like Linktree, this, is, this can be like Linktree on steroids because not only can you have all of your links here, but you can have all of your 
um, art and manage your collection, create your NFTs, all of those things are capable um, right here from, from within ID.art. So that's a pretty detailed uh, demonstration of most of the features of ID.art. Um, we're launching this with both a free plan and a pro plan. Um, so you'll be able to get a lot of these features uh, for free. And then if you wanna um, add more items and do more things, you can use the pro plan too. So this is alive now in beta. So you can go right now to ID.art and check it out. The other thing we have is there's the whole community section. So if you'd like to be listed in the community section, you can be featured here. So we feature some of our artists here. Uh, and then we also have the gallery, which just has a mixture of uh, artworks that are available from all the different artists. So you can see some of the, the great artwork that's already been uploaded to ID.art and each of these artists are using it to manage uh, their artwork online. So pretty robust platform. And um, I'm happy to be able to have given you a little demonstration of it here.